Hello, Liberty family and friends. Uh, this is Pastor Andy Buchanan welcoming you to our um, devotion for today. Today is Wednesday, April 1st, 2020. And um, we have been looking in the book of Lamentations, chapter 3, to begin our devotion time. And just to bring us up to speed in Lamentations, chapter 3, starting in verse 22, Jeremiah says, The Lord's loving kindnesses indeed never cease. For his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. And then verse 24. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I have hope in him. Um, this week we've looked at some of the mercies, the compassions that the Lord has given to us as believers. And we mentioned Monday that one of those things was his forgiveness that he grants to us. Yesterday we looked at uh, the fact that God has given us his word uh, as an encouragement, as a guide for each and every day. Today I want us to look at the Lord as being our provision, as the Lord being our provision. And I think about uh, Philippians chapter 4, Paul seeking to encourage the Philippian believers who had given of their means to help support him. He turns around and he says in verse 19 of Philippians chapter 4, he says, And my God will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. It's just a reminder that we need to look to the Lord to be our sure provision, the one who will help meet our every need. David said, I've never seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging for bread. The Lord knows how to take care of his own. Now, we don't always get everything that we want, but God does make sure that we have our needs taken care of. And he's provided the church to help meet that need as well, especially for the, the believer. Uh, Paul goes on, or earlier in chapter 4, rather, he gives us some words of um, how to look at our circumstances and what attitude we should have when we're going through difficult times. And these are challenging times that we find ourselves in. And I know that we'll be tested and we will be tried. But it is helpful to bring the Word of God to our mind as we go through these times to help strengthen us, to help encourage us. So, Paul, speaking about going through times of leanness when he didn't have much and going through times of, of prosperity when he uh, was in seeming abundance, this is what uh, Paul said in Philippians chapter 4, verse 12. He says, I know how to get along with humble means, and I also know how to live in prosperity. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of being filled and going hungry both of having abundance and suffering need. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. And that him we know is Christ. Paul said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Uh, believer, I want to encourage you today that whatever situation that you are facing, whatever your circumstances are, know that Christ is your provision. Christ is the one who will meet your need and enable you to get through whatever you are going through at this time. Um, the Lord has not only called us to himself, uh, he also enables us to live through him and to gain the victory. So I want to encourage you with those words today. Let me also encourage you to take your burdens to the Lord. We're encouraged in Scripture that we are to let our, our uh, petitions be known unto God earlier in chapter 4. Uh, he tells us, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. So let me encourage you, go to God first, make your need known to him and ask him to supply that need. And he will. And you too can say with Paul that I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Now today, is April 1st. A lot of people call it April Fool's Day, but I would like to leave you with a quote from a Christian martyr, uh, Jim Elliott, and listen to the words that he said, and may they be an encouragement to you today. He said, He is no fool who gives what he cannot keep to gain what he cannot lose. And I pray today as you ponder those words and as you apply the truth that you discover that God would provide a mighty blessing your way. Let me pray for you before we depart today. Father, I thank you for those that are watching, for those that are listening, and I pray that you would encourage their hearts. I pray, Lord, that their hunger and desire would be for you. You tell us, Lord, in the book of Psalms to seek your face, 
Father, help us today to seek your face, not just your hand of provision, but, Father, your face, that we might get to know you even better. Father, I pray your blessing upon those who are listening today as they seek to live for you, as they seek to submit themselves to you. And, Father, in all these things, we give you the praise and we give you the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. May God bless you greatly today. I encourage you to uh, join us tonight at 6 o'clock. Uh, the video for tonight's Bible study will be available. We're looking at the names of God, and we're concluding uh, a study on the name Elohim, uh, which we find in the very first verse of the Bible when it says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. And the name God in the first verse is the name Elohim. So I encourage you to join us. That will be available starting at 6 o'clock this evening. Until then, have a good and godly day. This is Pastor Andy Buchanan, Liberty Baptist Church in Hartwell.